Hey everyone, Mike here with The Gamer Show. And uh, I wanted to make a follow-up follow -up video. Um, I purchased another Shield remote because um, I was starting to see people in the comment section saying that there was some kind of new tab button. Um, so anyways, I, I just got this guy. Um, just came in the mail, so I thought I'd, I'd open it up just to see if it's the same, but I, I needed another one of these, honestly. So let's just go ahead and do the unboxing real quick here. So let's uh, cut the, not the box. No. There we go. As you can see there, we've got the tape off of it. Now again, this comes with the uh, NVIDIA Shield Pro. Um, the latest model already if you, you buy the Pro version. Um, however, um, I had another NVIDIA Shield um, that has the old remote. And the old remote is starting to kind of take a wear and tear. And it's just, it's, I don't like it. So you can see there, um, this is basically the same guide. It says you can, you know, plug this remote into the TV or the Shield TV Pro. Um, it's just showing you all the different things that you can do to hook up the Shield TV. However, for the remote, you just press the button, nvidia.com forward slash connect, um, with a couple of uh, support telephone numbers, as you can see there on the list. Uh, but anyways, we already know how to use the remote. And then we've got like a, a, a Shield support guide, which has really little bit of information. This stuff could have probably have been, um, you know, probably something smaller that people can just look up on their phone. Anyways, let's uh, let's take this guy out of the box. There it is, and this one it's a little bit tighter. There we go. There we go. Nice and neat, brand new out of the box. So let's see if the people online are uh, telling the truth or not. So what I'm seeing here right now is the remote looks absolutely the same but there's a button right there see it so that's what they have did this is the um, the shield remote revision 2 um, and you can clearly see that um, they have made an addition and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and compare the two next to each other so that way my, my wonderful assistant knew exactly what I was gonna say so as you can see here, here's remote number one and remote number two. Both of them look exactly the same. You can see this one's had some, it's withstand the, uh, the trials and terrors, but you'll notice the buttons are different versus the new remote. The buttons are more into the controller versus where they have the center space that are, um, it's open, they have spaces in there. So they made a change to the designs. So flipping up, You'll see they're exactly the same, except for it seems as if um, the old remote is much skinnier and the newer remote is actually thicker for the border that goes around those. So bringing it in so you guys can see that without getting the glare. Um, now let's look at the bottom. We already know what the most obvious thing is so far. They both say NVIDIA at the bottom still, but when flipping over the controller, you can see that this is like a little right here. It's just like a not even anything. But on this one, it's actually, it looks like a depressible button. So again, the version one does not have a button. There's nothing there. But on version two, they sure enough, you push your finger in and then let's see how easy this one is to slide off here. Uh, figure this one out. Dun, dun, dun! I might have to make a follow-up video on uh, how to do this, but let's see. This is a different one. Now, now I'm starting to get the idea of what people were saying. So you just press it in, and uh, does this thing slide? Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, use the other remote here to... <laughs> I don't want to use my knife to get this, but it looks like you have to depress it in and then slide it down. Well, let's just do flip it upside down, right? 
So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing with the new remote like I did with the old remote. I'm going to flip it upside down, put my, put my thumb there, right? And I'm holding it there. Now with the other one, I'm going to press and push down. And that's exactly how the remotes come off. So that is, uh, you can see how that, the dimple here for it is sticking up. So this is how they solve the problem with the remote because the old remote, right? That just popped and see how it snapped into place. When you throw it, it no longer comes off because the older one would just slide really easily. Look at that. So um, that's how they fixed the issue. I had posted a video showing that if you just tossed it or you, you just pushed it around, just barely, the thing would just pop off. But on the new one, what they did was they added this little strap here, that little, little, little clip, sorry. So you still have to hold it like you do, right? But you got to press the strap and then, oh, I'm sorry, there you go. Make sure the Netflix is pointing upside down. And then you push it and then it pops right off. So that is really strange. But I like it because they took my feedback, it seems, and fixed it. So this thing now makes the snap. So yeah, there you guys have it. We now know that there's a revision one and a revision two, and that they solved the issue with this back cover coming off so easily after they just glued this one. I might even call into NVIDIA to see if they would replace this because that is so, like, just, I would just barely do like that and there it goes. It came right off, literally. There, there's there's the plate for it, so you can see it came it came right off. So I, I find that kind of very inconvenient. I wonder if uh, NVIDIA is doing anything about it. But anyways, guys, that is it. Let's slide that one back on. Here it is, revision two of the NVIDIA Shield remote. They changed up some of the buttons, and they added this little notch here. And again, just so you can see, this is not a notch. That is not a notch. It's just a little arrow pointing downwards. I think that's what they meant to push this down. But now they physically added a notch in here. So that way, when you grab it, push it, boom, comes right off really easy now. All right, guys, that's it. That's the, uh, that's the episode for you. Again, that was the NVIDIA Shield remote from NVIDIA. There are two different versions out there. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time on The Gamer Show.